Hey folks, how you doing? I wanna just show you real quick a couple cool things. Finally got the big hammer, so started uh, stamping those blades where I have pre-ground annealed. It's gonna be pretty sweet if it focuses. You see that there? I don't know why it doesn't wanna focus. Did couple, did all of them. Check it out here. It's nice and deep. I, I had to get four pound hammer and actually worrying about my fingers I did the little jig here for the for the stamp. I just took the two by three, drew the hole where this fit I had I drew oversized hole so I just duct taped the uh, side of the stamp just a tiny bit so it has nice and snug fit so it doesn't wiggle side to side. And you see pretty much uh, on my base I actually use this piece of steel I'm gonna get the bigger chunk of steel to help you know focus all the energy going into that steel not into the not into the uh, wood or whatever you use as a base you know I s lock set my blade down there put you know exactly where I want that you know stamp set it in I go a little further away with my hand <laughs> holding it and then this big old crazy hammer and just whack it crazy <laughs> once and so far it looks good I'm curious to see how how well it is printed you know deep how deep in it is to see after cleaning how much you know how nice it comes out one more thing see did that finally got around and uh, cut those scales of the really cool wood I got from uh, from from a friend and that's gonna be some crazy stuff. That's that pink ivory, just old little bit, just so it brings brings the inside. This wood, see, very interesting wood. This actually feels like almost like a cork. It's very porous wood. This is really cool. You're gonna see this one very soon. See, it's burned because these woods are really hard and uh, we were just too lazy and there was no point of trying to get better blade at the circle saw, table saw. So, because it's gonna get sanded anyway, so it doesn't really matter if the wood is burned on the, on the surface a little bit. This is interesting wood too. I don't know if you can see those grains. And uh, this was pretty cool one too. Where is something that's not burned. This here, check it out. You see that really beautiful grain? All of them are really hard, so it's not fun to work with it. And I did one blade I'm gonna show you today. But before, what I did yesterday, grounded another one of those little T Rex T15 blanks I had, just the last one, and wanted to try something else, paracord handle with the Cobra stitch. And I actually epoxied it with the glow-in-the-dark epoxy. So you see, it actually looks, looks kinda crappy, but it might be pretty cool. These are like just uh, like a sharp knives for me. I have two of them now. I'm gonna probably give one away sometimes later on. I don't really use them. I have so many sharp knives here that it's not really a point. And I know somebody will be really happy about little little scalp like this. These are crazy. This is a uh, full flat grind with micro micro bevel on the bottom, which I'm gonna try to actually blend in even more. But really sharp. But these are thick. For the knife of this size, this is way too thick. And the uh, star of the day today, I had to try one of those wood slabs there. And I picked the one that's most beautiful, what I think, except the pink ivory, because it's gonna be really something special. And I customized my, my uh, this Ontario, yeah, this Ontario Machete. This is the economy class, the thin one. I actually like the thin stuff, because this thing is so light and uh, has such a great utility feature, you know, outdoors, chopping the small thin stuff, you know, up to 3 inches, 4 inches, it's just awesome. Reprofiled, reprofiled the edge just a slightly bit, just to put a nice edge on it, because they come with just steep bevel, burned, so I just reground a little bit of metal on it, just put a nice edge, and uh, this one is actually nice and sharp. way more than machete is supposed to be there isn't really as you cannot say the machete is not supposed to be that sharp everything can be sharp it only depends what the what the edge geometry is it has to be strong enough to support that steel and the, the use for certain tasks but did check it out what i did 
I used that wood but I show you the really beautiful one and uh, this being cut in the from a slab from one big thick piece I actually have a match in scales I think book scales or what are they called and I really hope the camera will focus now because this is beautiful wood you see those crazy pattern in the grain just gorgeous and if I turn it around you see when I say matching both sides are same especially in this area with the really beautiful knot and print in the wood so I did machete I changed the handle a lot this actually should have been there should have been a little cut out here but I left it so I have tiniest gap here which I will probably just fill with epoxy at the later day but I, I liked it when as a nice curvature very comfortable very nice handle this wood was hard to work with ha the hardest wood so far that I did because this burned with absolutely the slightest slightest you know use uh, sandpaper you sending drum or belt it burned right away so this was pain in the arse but it was well worth it because that wood is just gorgeous the grain and everything I love it and I think it goes well with that that contrast between the black and uh, I don't know what are the, what do they call this it's not coating it's like burnt galvanizer I don't know I don't remember the name and that uh, light light wood handle it's really nice contrast also I dropped this you know this was going straight up so I made a nice little drop to get a little more point get that point a uh, little sharper you know pointier and it looks nicer with that little natural drop and I like it and of course I really prefer the handle too a lot the, the finger chop wasn't there it was just like squared off before and uh, I like it I am a big fan of macheris some of you know it macheris are great but they are they require a little practice with because they stick a lot so you need to get that motion if you if you go into the harder wood uh, and thicker wood you need a little practice to know how to work with it which I still am learning I want to show you something this is that one one by three right uh, just want to show you how a, how a nice machete can bite I hope I won't go into the floor that went to the past the center of that wood which is pretty freaking amazing <laughs> so you have one by three right and if, I, if you were to chop if you want to split it in half all you have to do is two chops <laughs> and that's pretty freaking awesome I think for everything thin macheris are great except splitting but the the thin stuff is just amazing and even splitting of the thin stuff you know if it's not too long not too thick machete will do perfect awesome and this 10 ounces 12 inch long I think over 12 inch long blade absolutely love it and uh, the handle is gorgeous it's kind of funny that I picked uh, picked to put such a hard and uh, hard and pretty handle on the tool that you're not supposed to care about but I like the macheris and I love the pretty macheris so I think this will be this is a nice combination let me know what you think if you like it too I'm definitely a fan and uh, this should be 1095 so it should be actually pretty decent quality too should should work well and last for for a while so hope you enjoyed it guys thank you for watching i'll be back later with the with the mass giveaways results and uh thank you take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself <laughs>